Welcome to this webinar provided by C Squares team. During this webinar, we will speak how to save months and millions in exploration and production decisions using Udemo Depths, a Notion plugin to Petrail. We'll cover such topics as how does Udemo Depths work, who will benefit using Udemo Depths and why, and finally, we will show you case study in Udemo Depths. A lot of people in oil and gas world are thinking as the finger of the August Raden to drill or not to drill. And if to drill, where to drill? With the Udemo depths, you could save millions and months in your exploration and production decisions. Because Udemo depths could build retiral structure models with the confidence in a one single run. Udemo Depths is efficient and reliable because it relies on 30 years of experience in geostatistics and is based on mathematical framework, mainly on Bayesian co-creaking and simulations. Udemo Depths is a plugin to Petrail and we will speak about it during the webinar and you could download it in the Ocean Store. Udemo Depths is a very easy to use and it's very interactive software uh, with which you could optimize your velocity parameters for a best estimated depth. And um, you, can you can characterize your uncertainty in one interface. And what is more, you can simulate hundreds and hundreds of depth surfaces in one click. How does Udemo Depth work? Let's see. We have seismic time interpretations in time, well depth markers, and more often and often we perform time to depth conversion. Unfortunately, using a priori depth trend, which is using a priori velocity law, we have mismatches with the well depth markers. Our trend is either overestimated or it's underestimated. And we need to optimize these velocity parameters. We propose you to try Udemo Depths. Why? Because it could compute optimized post-depth strength with the optimized velocity log parameters, which will be computed for the all three layers at the same time in the interval of the confidence. It will also minimize residuals between well depth markers and the post trend. What is more, at the same run, Udemo depths will compute best estimated depths which is tied to the well. Udemo depths is using variogram models to represent velocity residual uncertainty and time interpretation uncertainty. And what's more, what's more, we will of course provide you uncertainty around the best estimated depths. And we will simulate hundreds and hundreds of faces in the confidence interval in one single run in a consistent way where you could save plenty of time. Just in one run, Udemo Depths will perform multi-layer depth conversion. It will integrate all sources of uncertainties. It will optimize velocity low parameters, including seismic velocities. And finally, it will tie depths to the wells. Just in one run, you could save months and millions. Just imagine. Who will benefit using your demo depths? Of course, geoscientists and managers. Geoscientists say that your demo depths will integrate all sources of uncertainty. It will also reduce turnaround times and 
present accurate results. And as a conclusion, it will build confidence in exploration and production decisions. For managers, there are also some benefits. For example, it will save cost of the exploration stage. It will reduce time. And of course, it will maximize the profit. So you are still thinking, is it real or not? Just uh, before going to the Udemy depths, we'll present uh, shortly workflow. We will start with the preparation of the data input trail. Then we will create and configure scenarios. And finally, we will present you results. So let's go. Here you could see a scenario with which we are going to work. We have three layers, layer one, Layer 2 are quite shallow, and the layer 3 is our target layer. And in Udemy depth, you could also use uh, well depth markers and uh, seismic velocity. Let's go to Udemy depth. That is interface of the Udemy depth. It consists of three main sections. First section is for scenario configuration and optimization of the parameters. Here, you could input layers, seismic time, well depth markers, interval velocity, and optimize interval velocity functions. What is more important with which function of the Udomo depth you could save really months and millions is that you could input uncertainty on seismic time, characterizing it as sigma, and characterize it in space with a measure, measure, mean direction, and azimuth, and uh, with a special continuity using variogram type. You could also input uncertainty on the well depth markers as well uncertainty, and also uncertainties on interval velocity residual. Um, regarding velocity, Udomo depth is using two kinds of velocity. In blue, you could see velocity which is proposed by default based on a priori studies, and in orange, that is the best estimated velocity computed by Bayesian co -Kriggin. On the last part, there is one of the most interesting sections of the Udomo depth. Here, you could control your velocity model. With the help of the depth mismatch statistics, we could see the mismatch of the prior trend with the well depth markers, mismatch with the post trend with the pre with the well depth markers, and uh, visualization of these mismatches. You could see the depth plot where there is estimated depth versus well in blue. Uh, you could see values of the depths uh, using a uh, value in blue, which is set by default, and in orange, uh, there is a depth using best estimated velocity. By the way, in Udomo depth, you could integrate as much scenarios as you want and change them just in one click. So, let's define the third layer. Uh, we will input uh, seismic time. Well depth marker. We will choose uh, velocity for the linear compaction. And now you see that our velocity already started to be optimized. Depth strength is optimized for the, for the two first layers, for the layer one in the corner of the depth plot and for the layer two. However, depth uh, for the layer 3 is not really optimized. And we will optimize it um, with a compaction factor which is proposed by Udemy depth. Now, uncertainty mismatch is 8 meters. Let's see what is going on. 6.
And now we have mismatch just three meters. That is relatively better what we had before. Let's select our output. Our output is going to be estimated depth, estimated depth uncertainty. Estimated interval velocity, estimated interval velocity uncertainty, and simulated depth. Let's go to scenario properties to configure our simulations. We could compute and simulate as much surfaces as you want. However, now we will perform just 20. I would like you really to pay attention on what is going on to be now. Because this operation, which integrates all sources of uncertainty on seismic time, well depth markers, interval velocity, will be computed just in some seconds. So, let's run. In the task manager, you will see the timing of the operation. We estimated three layers, and now there is a simulation of 20 depths. So we are near to finish. 100% is finished and we finished our computation in 19 seconds. So let's go and see our results. Uh, here you could see estimated depth. It's uh, tied to the wells. but also estimated depth uncertainty. Here, uh, there is uh, zero uncertainty uh, near the well depth uh, markers. According to our color scale, it's in uh, white and yellow. Uh, however, uh, further from the wells, it's uh, near 40 meters. It means that uh, in this place, uh, you could uh, find our estimated depth of the reservoir in the range of the two sigmas. Plus minus. It means in the range of uh, 2 times 40 plus minus confidence interval. Here, where we will save our time for months of the estimations and simulations, different depths. And of course, we will save our money to drill the at the right place. We computed also estimated interval velocity, which is tied to the wells. And we computed estimated interval uh, velocity uncertainty. Uh, you could see that near the wells it's all heated. Further from the wells, it's uh, 95 meters per second uh, uncertainty. We will perform uh, some simulations. Uh, which are going to be defined in the confidence interval of the two times uh, depth uncertainty. Here you could see the cross section where we are going to perform simulations. On the right side, you could see the cross section. Uh, in the red, uh, there is the confidence interval. And let's run our simulations, and the models are going to be on the left. So now there is a performance of the simulations. Um, these uh, simulations are used uh, for the further studies of the reservoir and um, volume analysis. Let's see results of the gross work volume computation. Pay attention. Remember this second. Remember this moment. There are maps of P10, P50, and P90. These maps are not just in between. These maps are really integrates all sources of uncertainties and it relies on objective criteria. Here, where you really could save your time, 
and money. It's also, also possible to uh, simulate uh, probability maps. Uh, for example, probability to hit target about contact or skill point, hydro column, column, uncertainty on hydrocarbon column. Uh, this uh, probability map could help you to study geometry of the reservoir and to understand other reservoirs are connected between each other or not. And experience shows that up to 30% more accurate results are provided on the gross stroke volume with the Udemo depth. Are you running of time? The Square has created a special offer especially for you. We provide time to depth conversion less than in 3 hours instead of 1 month and 30 day free evaluation period of Udomo depths including technical support. Download Udomo depths from Ocean Store and you will get geostatistical models on the fly. All uncertainties on several layers in one single run and confidence in drilling decisions. Contact us csquare at csquare.com. Thank you very much for watching this webinar. Have a good day!